How did the Las Vegas real estate market fare for October 2019? Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team. Welcome to my monthly market update for Southern Nevada. And in this issue, I'm gonna be going over October 2019 numbers. Today is Sunday, November 10th, and I am at the Arbor's Tennis Play Park. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Las Vegas weather has been absolutely gorgeous this past week in the 70s. Next week it's going to be in the 70s as well. If you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, that should be one of the reasons why. The weather here, minus three months in the summer, is absolutely gorgeous. Just had to say that before we get into how the market did last month. Las Vegas home sales rose last month amid um, increasing home prices and we are nowhere near our pre-recession prices. According to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, there were 2,899 single family homes, which always compromises the bulk of the market that sold in the month of October, up 5.4% from September and up 7.9% from October 2018. The median sales price of previously owned single family homes dropped from 307,000 to 310,000 last month, down 1% from September and up 4.1% from the prior year. To me, it's a good sign that the sales are back up and especially I'm not surprised because of the lower interest rates. I don't know how long these interest rates will continue to be this low. I know they've gone up or crept up slightly since last month. Um, but since next year is an election year, things may change. Trump may try to spruce up the economy. Uh, a lot of people talk about recession for 2020. Lots of experts say that the recession is going to hit. A lot of my buyers are waiting to see what the prices are going to land on. However, the numbers don't indicate a recession. The numbers are indicating that we are still very strong. Our market has been the stablest it's ever been in a very long time. Um, when it comes to appreciation, homes are around two to five percent. So you want to have a two to five percent appreciation that's very um, stable. Southern Nevada had a total of 3,544 new listings for the month of October, up 0.6% from September and down 7.9% from the prior year. However, there was a total of 7,210 single family houses listed without offers at the end of October, down 1.7 from September and up 4.2 from the prior year. There is still, again, about a 2.5 months of housing supply, and we've been hovering around the 2.5, 2.7 months of housing supply for a very long time. I don't even know when it hasn't been those two numbers. <laughs> That was down 6.7% from September and down 3.5% from the prior year. And 52.6% of the closings were on the market for 30 days or less. September, the number was 53.9 and October last year was 65.4%. So last year was a banner year. Homes were selling the moment it goes on the market. This year, homes aren't selling as fast as they were last year. And as I've said, it's kind of getting hot. As I said, the only reason I think that the homes aren't selling as fast is one, we have a huge inventory, over 8,000 homes listed. But I think the homes that are selling are move-in ready homes that have already been updated. People do not want to update a house. They don't want to buy a house that they have to fix up. That's where the investors come in. And there's still a lot of investors out there. It's obvious that the Las Vegas housing market has slowed this year compared to last year. Last year was a crazy, crazy, crazy year, I can't say it enough, where the moment a house went on the market, it sold within hours, uh, sometimes days, but if it was a nice house, it sold very fast. We had very few inventory. It was a typical supply and demand. We had the demand, but very little supply. And I think that's what happened with our prices or why the prices skyrocketed last year because of very little inventory. We don't have that problem this year. Our inventory is a lot larger than last year. The median price is still rising, which means appreciation still rising. So 
in my opinion, the numbers are telling me that we are nowhere near a recession at this time. So if you're a buyer and you're waiting until next year, it may not happen. I've had buyers for the last three years waiting for the prices to go down and they haven't. And with the appreciation being two to 5%, I don't see the prices going down. So with the interest rates being low right now, as I've said in previous videos, now is a good time to buy if you can afford it. Um, a lot of people talk about affordability concerns, but if you go anywhere in the country, I have a lot of real estate agent friends that are across the country and our medium sales price of 307 is nowhere near compared to what other states are. Nationally, the average interest rate for a 30 year loan for the month of October was at 3.69%, which is slightly up from September, which was at 3.61. However, if you look at the interest rates at this time last year, it was at 4.83. So that's huge, different, huge savings. I just refinanced my house and I had a higher interest rate because I'm a real estate agent. However, I just refinanced my house at 4% and I have almost $600 savings a month. That's almost $7,000 a year. That's just crazy. If you're a home buyer and you don't want to buy a home, why not refinance? I actually know a great lender for that. So again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it is uh, the month of November. The weather has been in the 70s all week long and next week it's going to be in the 70s. Vegas has awesome weather this time of year. I like it because it's cold at night and in the mornings and then in the day it's absolutely gorgeous. If you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas or if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. I've also posted a buyer and seller form down in the description below. If you'd like to pull up the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I posted a link also in the description down below. As always, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty, that wraps it up for today. I hope you've enjoyed this market update. I really enjoy going out and recording this out in nature outside beats being in a stuffy house. It's a beautiful day. That's one thing I liked about doing my um, village tours was being able to go out even if it was 115 degrees. I like being outside but who doesn't? Uh, I don't know. Oh you got to pay attention. I did an events video of events happening in the Las Vegas market. You should watch that because there's a lot of fun and exciting events happening. I will also be posting one for December